Hi there, it's Tony Hulan, Chief Medical Officer at the Department of Health, coming to you on the occasion of the 57th annual BT Young Scientist Competition. I'm delighted to have been asked to spend some time and to share some thoughts with you um, to reflect on an amazing competition, an amazing achievement in running the competition in the circumstances in which you have to run it this year. And of course, a testament to the success and the vision of the founding fathers, Father Tom Burke, and Dr. Tony Scott 57 years ago. Dr. Scott, incidentally, uh, somebody who lectured me as a medical student uh, way back in the mid 80s in physics, uh, but perhaps less known about him was patron of the UCD Medical Students Voluntary Society, where medical students volunteered to help with underprivileged uh, children uh, and vulnerable people in various settings across the city and helped to instill in some of those medical students values that they, they would bring important values uh, into their career as as doctors. Uh, and so his leadership is felt in lots of different ways, um, some less well known than others. Uh, but today uh, his leadership is obvious in the 57th occasion of running this, this wonderful competition focused as it is on second level students. As it happens, um, this being a small country, I know the families of two of the previous individual winners. Patrick Collison was a near neighbour and uh, my sister's um, babysat, he him and his, his brother John, both of whom have gone on to global success with Stripe. Uh, uh, but he first came to prominence as a winner of the individual prize some years ago. And more recently, Shane Curran, uh, living in my local community in Terenure, but also graduate of Terenure College where my son uh, attends, uh, was also um, uh, a winner of the individual prize. And I know from the Curran family, from the um, Collison family, and from Terenure College, who've always been wonderful supporters of this competition, just how proud the schools and the parents of, of the winners uh, um, are. But not just the winners. You'll all know that your teachers and your parents are extraordinarily proud of your achievement in getting here today. And you wouldn't have got here without their support and their steadfast support. And maybe to take a moment and reflect on, on that and how important that has been in your lives and in your education to get you to the point where you're able to, uh, to exhibit, uh, to compete, um, uh, in, in, in whatever um, um, your field and whatever category of competition you're competing in. Um, your success uh, will be uh, in many ways um, um, attributable to the support of your parents and your, your, your teachers in your school. Uh, the work of science, and you'll know this, um, begins with a generation, generation of good question, a question that often arises from everyday life uh, in the medical field, it's some clinical practice and observations that are made there to generate questions, to lead to the development of hypotheses that can be tested in studies that are designed to either experimentally or make observations that allow those hypotheses to be, to be, to be properly tested and for conclusions to be drawn, to be written up, to be shared, to be cross-examined and to be repeated by other people. And this is the process of, of, of science that you're well familiar with. And it isn't always about the winning, uh, the, 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 the participation is enormously important. And irrespective of what the endeavour is, um, your participation in generating new knowledge in whatever way you do is important to the, 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 the global endeavour of, of, of science. Um, and nowhere has that been more evident in recent times than in the pandemic. As I said at the outset, challenging us um, by forcing you into a situation which you've managed to overcome to run the competition, but to do it in a safe way and to do so online. So that's an amazing achievement. But if we think back at the pandemic and how we, we knew nothing of this 12 months ago and how science uh, and research have helped us to get to a point of understanding. Um, first of all, isolating the virus, developing tests, sharing that knowledge and material around the world to enable other countries to, uh, to develop testing capacity and capability, studying, making observations, better understanding the biology, the behavior of the virus, the behavior of populations in relation to the virus, the generation of new terms from social distancing to um, um, whatever it may be. Uh, we have a new language, we have new understandings of biology and of behaviour that we didn't have. And this is all through scientific effort and observations over the last 12 months that have brought us right to the cusp now of developing vaccines, safe and effective vaccines um, uh, against this virus and brings us new hope for 2021, all of which has come about 
by a global effort to respond to the challenge that was 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 uh, placed at the foot of mankind 12 months ago with a new virus where we had no natural immunity as a a, a species where we had no drugs specific to treat this particular illness and no vaccines and nothing other than the behaviours as human beings was all that was avail available to us to protect ourselves and to protect our communities. And while we still have a significant challenge to overcome, uh, we have hope through the work of science uh, and the endeavours of the scientists around the world and the sharing of that knowledge uh, to bring with us into 2021. Um, it simply isn't possible to run competitions of any kind, and in particular, the organisational efforts that had to be overcome to run a competition like this, which couldn't have been a certainty, I'm sure, uh, but has become, has come to pass. Uh, that can only come uh, uh, through the, the work and the dedication of individuals who take on the organisational challenge. And Mary Cahalan, I know, has put a huge amount of effort on behalf of the organising committee and the organisation and the sponsors. And so for each one of you and your families and your schools, all this has been made possible by, by the work that she has done and the work of her team. So I wish you all individually uh, every um, success. Uh, I know there will be both group and individual prizes. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy exhibiting your, your, um, your work over the course of the coming days. I hope you find it a fulfilling uh, uh, experience, something that you bring with you into life. Uh, and I hope you take a few moments to savour your own success, irrespective of the outcome of the competition. You've done really well in getting here. So well done. Uh, enjoy the few days. Uh, enjoy the celebrations with your family, however it works out. And uh, all the very best. Bye bye.